Well, you know, just as uh, the tsunami wave eventually did hit the west coast of this country, now there is this concern. Radiation monitors are now heading to the west coast as scientists say that the plume of radiation from Japan will hit the western United States in the air tomorrow. But they say that this is going to have extremely low levels of radiation. However, the federal government is already monitoring radiation in that area, and now they are deploying extra help. Molly Hedberg is on this for us live in D.C. from the Bureau there. Good morning, Molly, to you. And what is expected in terms of the path of this radioactive plume from Japan? It sounds scary. Hi, Martha. It depends on how much radiation is released for how long and then the wind and weather patterns between Japan and the U.S. But a branch of the United Nations is predicting, according to the New York Times, that the plume may travel while not indicating how much, if any, radioactive material would still be detectable, but that it would travel, the prediction says. It would likely hit the Aleutian Islands near the mainland Alaska today, then move down to Southern California, and then travel east to Utah, Nevada, Utah, and Arizona. The forecast stops there, but the plume likely would continue east. Scientists have said repeatedly that any radioactive material would dilute and likely disperse as it travels thousands of miles across the Pacific Ocean and may not even be detectable on the West Coast. So what is the government doing about it? How will they measure that, Molly? Well, out of an abundance of caution, EPA, Environmental Protection Agency officials, say they're moving additional radiation monitors to the western U.S. and Pacific territories. California already has 12, Oregon has two, and they're putting two more of these monitors in Hawaii, two in Guam, and three new ones in Alaska. Still, the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission says, quote, all the available information continues to indicate Hawaii, Alaska, the U.S. territories, and the U.S. West Coast are not expected to experience any harmful levels of radioactivity. The radiation monitor should be up and running by the end of this week. The EPA says it does not expect to see any spikes in the readings on those monitors. All right, Martha. Molly, thank you very much for the update. Molly Henneberg in Washington.